Hello happy crocheters, this is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm showing you a stitch pattern I like to call the wildflower stitch. So here is an example of the wildflower stitch. It is a four row repeat and pretty solid but not completely solid. I think it has a really pretty design and will look amazing for a blanket. Today I'm going to use a size H crochet hook and the Bernat softy cotton which is a size three or a lightweight yarn. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started, we are going to make a slip knot and insert our hook. You will wanna make a chain with an odd number of chains. Any odd number is fine. I think this stitch would look gorgeous as a blanket or for a bag, and I even have a easy washcloth pattern using this stitch. Once your chain is complete, we are simply going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and every chain across. Your total stitch count for row one will be one less than your starting chain. For row two, we are going to chain one and turn. This is going to act as our turning chain and it is not counted as a stitch. I'm also going to gently pull up on the loop to get a little extra height. Then we are going to double crochet into the very first stitch. After this, we will work a stitch pattern. For our stitch pattern, we are going to work two double crochet into the next stitch and skip the following stitch. So one and two double crochet into the next stitch and then skip the following stitch and simply repeat that pattern. So skip the stitch and work two double crochet in the following stitch. Then skip the next stitch and work two double crochet in the following stitch. Repeat this all the way across the row until you only have one stitch remaining. When you reach that last stitch, remember to skip the last stitch in your repeat and work a double crochet in the very last stitch of the row. When you complete row two, we are going to chain one and turn and for row three we are simply going to single crochet in every stitch across. At the end of row three we are going to chain one and turn and begin row four. For row four, we have a slightly different stitch pattern than we did in row two. We're going to begin with a double crochet in the very first stitch, for this row we're going to start our repeat by skipping a stitch and then working two double crochet in the following stitch. This is the opposite to what we did in row two. So to repeat this stitch pattern, we are going to skip a stitch and work two double crochet in the following stitch. Continue repeating this stitch pattern until you reach the very last stitch. When you only have one stitch remaining, work a double crochet into the very last stitch. If you compare this to row two, you'll notice in row two we have a skip stitch before the last double crochet, and in row four we have no skip stitch between the two double crochets and the last double crochet. To begin row five, we are going to chain one and turn, and for row five we're simply going to single crochet in every stitch across.
Once you complete row 5, to continue your project, you are just going to repeat rows 2 through 5 until your project is as big as you would like it to be. And that is how you do the wildflower stitch. Here I've completed a few more rows of the wildflower stitch. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. It really helps my channel.